so Mole's not here, as far as I can tell. Alright, where else is there to go? Oh, there's another path to take up there. Oh, okay, hold on. It looks like it loops back around, so I'll go this way. Nope, that looks like the way I need to go. I don't want to go that way. Here, Cressa's notes. Who the fuck is Cressa? Yeah, reflex switch, blah blah, blah. candle doll, create thralls, blah blah blah. Uh, I need a new one. The one that Balthazar doesn't know of. A creature exceptional. Okay. Pile of bones. Hmm. A rustic chest. Yes, take them all. Mistress of Souls research log. Hmm, politically good, day five, blah blah blah. Oh, there's nothing on page two. Who the fuck is that? Iron Finger Harry Hinger, Henry. Okay. What's over here before I go talk to those people? Ripcage. Harry Henry's journal. That's another door, so that leads over there to the Brian's. Okay. Go over here. Oh, there's another deal. Closed mine. Okay. Hmm. Iron finger. Going on. General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. This is a misunderstanding. I was sent to support you with the eradication of these traitors. Boom. That's clearly a crit 20, but also get 5, 10, 9 plus another. Yeah. Teach. No need for a throne. You could merely get in the way. Go on, make yourself useful <laughs> somewhere. If you cannot manage that, just stay out of the way. Hurry now. The city calls out for salvation. All right, what's in here? Pearl. I don't want to fight him still. Where'd they go? There's her. There's her. And there's Cressa. Wait, where's Cressa? Oh, there's Cressa. 67. 84. 57. Uh, 
Come on, Garlic. I'm going to cheese it. That's fine. God damn it, will you fucking quit? No! Shit. God damn it. Let's get going. Is she gonna come back out here? I guess not. Three sorcery points. Nah, that's not it. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. What's gonna I attack? Let me get over here. Now attack her. Boop. And then. Oh, I was already right there. There. No. And no. All right, enter. Now you get shield? What? Alright. That's fine, come on. Good job. I 
can't have disadvantage. How do I have disadvantage? Oh, I'm poison? Oh, well, that's just lovely. There we go. No. Nope. Alright, in turn five. If this is worth the cost. Hmm. There. You go. And then you go as well. You know what? Just both of them. Okay. That's for short rest, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to intern so I can save some of those. Wait, no. Because I'll be using mostly spells come the next battle. Yep, yeah, let's go. Don't react. Reckless. Great weapon attack. Go. Don't react. God damn, Carlac. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Should be it. Yep. Yeah, and whatever she's got on her. There. Merkelite Scourge. Okay. I never went over here. Well, at least I never picked up anything. That's right, I picked up too many of these. And that, yeah, I'll send back to camp. Wait. God damn it. Send to camp. Is that everything? Yep, that was over there, that was over there. That's the barracks cancel. There was this area down here. I could have finished exploring, but I never actually got through there. Huh. I didn't finish exploring all that. Well, damn. Cancel. Alright, cool. Let's get back here. Let's do this. Get it done. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That restores all spell slots. So I didn't need what's her name? T 
to... Does that give me back my short rest? No. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh well. It is what it is. Quick save. Descending further down. Wait, a fresh mine. Oh yeah, that's right. I got two more things. Hold on. Let's go back. Uh, give that to Shadowheart. Cool. Let me go back and look up the two mines I just got. Was it a fresh mine and something else? I don't forgot. Jeez. I never actually picked that up. Oh, he didn't have anything. That's fine. Come over here. What am I to do? Oh god. Was that a fresh mine? Butchered mine? Dark mine? Fresh mine? Give it to her. Let's go in. What mines do you have? Careful. None. Was it a willing mine? What's next? Dark mine? Because there was two more I picked up, right? Was it a willing mine? Oh god, I never forgot which one it was. Oh, there it is. A true mind. No, I've already done that one. Eh, organized by type. True mind, a fresh mind. Okay, let's go over here. Activate this thing. Over here, let's put a fresh mind in. God, it's a kid. Mm. How did you get here? I live here. This is my house. Our house, right, Mummy? We saw a big spiky snail that fell out of the sky. I'm just very sleepy, Mummy. I wish you'd stop waking me up so much. Big spiky snail. Uh, hmm. Time to go back to sleep then. Good night, you. Nope. Big spiky Wiggly snail. Legs. Oh, the nautiloid. Hmm. You'll never wake up again, little one. Oh, okay. Well. What is this one? A true mine? Which is it? Which day? Oh, it's this one. Hey. hey. There, give me that. Okay. Soldier. Which one do you have? Slave mine, willing, willing mine. Was that one of them? I'm ready. Butchered mine, dark mine. 
Yeah, no, hold on. Slave mine. Willing mine. Yeah, maybe I'll just try them both. No, not you, Asterion. Not you, Asterion. There, click. Switch characters. Oh, there's a chest down there. I completely forgot. Okay. Okay, which one is this? Fresh mine, close mine. Give my willy mine. Close mine. That's the other one I got. Okay, well, I guess these are useless now, so I can send them all back to camp. No. There. Control. Fresh mine. There. Slay mine. Willing mine. True mine. Send them all to camp. I'm no longer encumbered. Well, okay, cool. Well, well. What now? I wonder what the next move is. Cool. That one and that one. Send back to camp. Just open up. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, let's see what we got in here. Wait, strap ingredients, elixirs, bark skin, arcane cultivation, viciousness, resistance to psychic damage, poison, necrotic. Elixir Bloodlust. Any salt. Rogue's Morsel. Work Fang. Okay. Uh. Grenades, coatings, what do we got for coatings? Nope, that's pretty much it. Grenades, uh, I don't have any more. And potions, animal speaking, mind reading. Okay. Featherfall, uh, animal speaking, and mind reading. Potion of sleep. Dazzle's coil speed. Remedial potion. Mm. Give some of these to Carlac. And then give some of these to Asterion. Yes, I think that'll be fine. Alright, jumping back, now we descend further. Sheesh. All this stuff just to prep. Wait, hold on, what's over here?
Oh, there's another waking mine. Okay. Um, lock picking impossible. What? Where are these skeletons? There. Okay. In that case, how do I get through that door? I want to get through that door now. The console bursts into life. A mind touches your own. Alien and full of desperate need, but fragmented too. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process, linking each part of your mind to its like. Begin to manipulate the mind. Um. I see. Um, which one is this? Reason? M memory, reason. Wait, I think, hold on, can I move it here? Okay, let's see, speech. Where do I need to go for speech? Over there? Okay, memory. Memory needs to go there, so which path do I need to take for that? Okay, so this way? Okay, I need that one to get there so I will go up for this one Ma. Ma. Stop. Welcome. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, what happened? No, I was... Why did you walk away? Why did you click on the fucking door? The console glows as you approach. The mind's still desperately yearning for connection. Oh snap, this was the intro right here. Like it was zoomed in. Um Our Destiny Design Downfall. Your tadpole echoes. 
Not with presence, but memory, tinged with loss. The grand design. Order. Perfection. Unity. Every plane. As one. Every being. In their place. That loss blooms into a sudden fury, burying claws in your mind. Take it. Just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design. The restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. The dream of all Illithids. Mm. Hmm. Come on. Get on up here. Alright, now I got one last one. I'm gonna go over here and put it in. Alright, where is it at? There it is, waking mind. Hmm. Fine bones, sharp jaw. Some variety of elf? Pretty enough for a flesh prison, if not the noble Githzerai features I was born with. The monk-like Githzerai, sibling race to the warrior Githyanki. Their contempt for one another is eclipsed only by their shared hatred of the Illithids. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the Gake either. Perhaps we might aid one another. Hmm, how did you end up in a vault? Get Sarai are supposed to be ultimate warriors. Warriors of the mind. Oh, there's some physical prowess involved, but the battlefield on which we truly fight the Gake is their own. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Gake. They destroyed us for it, and kept me as a trophy. Not very good, are you, then? I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole, erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. Prickling flame runs across the back of your mind and the edge of your soul. Your patron bids you caution before agreeing to this pact. The monk isn't telling you everything. Hmm. If you want my help, then tell me the truth. Want my help, then tell me the truth. All right. I... The gate did not find my monastery. I led them there. They promised me immortality, and they gave it. I have been their rotting trophy for centuries. As her agitation swells, so does her latent psionic power. To your tadpole, that guilt and terror are almost fragrant. You realize the Elithids locked her away not as a trophy, but as a fine vintage. Please, touch my mind and purge it. The moment you do, my knowledge will be yours. Uh... And consume her mind. Purge her mind. Oof. Uh, should I consume or purge? Yeah, we're arguing semantics at this point. Uh... Consume or purge.
Um, so, well, that's vague. Why is there a guide? There's like a whole article paragraph. Just clear your mind, interesting details, history. Oh, consuming gives you no benefits. No, reach out and purge her mind. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch, but you feel something left behind, a fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will see. And I, I see. Oh, what? Gifts of my mind barrier. Having assimilated a splinter of gifts of my knowledge, mental barriers have been erected. Mental barriers affect that if the entity has advantage on intelligence saving throws. Oh. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to send this back to camp. Wait, where'd it go? Send to camp. Okay, cool. Um... Do I have any other elixirs? I can give the Shadow Heart. Guileful movement. Wait, what does she have now? Does she even have one? Uh, no. Oil of accuracy. Greater. Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. I'd give her a second level spell spot. No time to dally. Cool. Alright, what now? What path lies before me? Yes, go, go, go. Mm. Seems like now we place. descend. Eesh. How much weight does everybody have? Hey ho, what a charmer. Trust no one. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Shut up. Oh. Let's get going. Oh, there's boxes over here. That are all empty. Never wanted the easy path. Descend, assemble. Obey. Okay. Uh, quick save. No 
longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The Absolute is behind this door. Enter. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker. Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I've played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from her. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. Mm. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. He must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. <sighs> if the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! A fucking elder brain. Get the fuck out of here. and most powerful creatures in existence enslaved by mere mortals there we are it wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests behold Duke Raven Guard the absolute who will preserve us you wag your word flap in vain old Elaine. once the worm holds the whip your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. There's a mind flare. There's who the fuck is that? Is that a night song? <gasps> they took the night song. There's more of those guys. Okay, cool. Alright. 
F5 to skip that cutscene. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Mm, I just want to be free of the parasite. Um. Uh, I'm here to snuff out this whole evil bot. You along with it. Um. And what is my place, Kethrick? Why is the prism so important to you? Why is a prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Hmm, I was ready to show you mercy before, but it's too late. You can repent. But it's still not too late. You can repent. Planning on betraying your allies? You are planning on betraying your allies? Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. We can't get at him as long as the Night Song's caged. Soul caged. Examine what is a soul cage. A soul cage. Help out of the soul cage. Okay. Who has the fastest throw? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, what? Oh, there's like smoke powder over all that now. What the fuck? Tactical. Nah, it was kind of pointless.
these boots have seen everything. Can I misty step over there? I can. Oh, I never put that amulet back on a uh, deal. Oh my god, okay. It's still a bonus action though. <laughs> that one and that one. No and no. Yes, Missy Step. All the way right there. Hmm, okay. In turn. She's got a rage. Focus your attack, soldiers. Oh, hey, I just got raided. Welcome, Raiders. How y'all doing? Yeah, is it Cappy? Cappy? Oh, Cappy, how nice to see you. Alright, cool. Alright. Now, let's see here. Oh, wow, you're at the end of Act 2. Alright, now I must look away. Did not get spoiled. But good luck. No, I appreciate it, but yeah, I'm right here. Um. What fifth level spell do I have? Hold monster. Can't target undead, but he's a monster. Um, can't target undead? What? How can I not target undead? Whatever. Spirit guardians. Yeah. Can I do fifth level? Nah, I'm gonna save it till next turn. Uh, in the meantime, because I got no more movement, I'm not gonna dash, but I am gonna Guiding Bolt on him to possibly give Asterion, yes, advantage on his next sneak attack. There. Okay, in turn. Probably you're up. There. Um, he's frightened and stunned. How is he stunned? Covered. Come on, whatever. Give it to Carlac then. Carlac, I need you to rage. Wait, you've got all your rages back. Okay. Um, in that case, before there, just do that. Syrinx might attack again. Then attack again. I've already used my bonus attack. Oh, well. There you go. Oh, God. Why are you going to waste all my channel divinities? Hmm. Despite all of his rage, it's still just a rat in the cage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Jesus Christ. No, uh... Hellish Rebuke. Uh, Fuck you. Um, 
Do I have a scroll? I have a scroll of whole person, see invisibility, stinking cloud, expeditious retreat. Dash immediately and has a bonus action on each of your turns until this spell ends. This requires concentration. I'm not concentrating on anything right now, which is fine. I need to get over there to those things. Not really. Hold on. Yeah, it's fine. Get there. Shit. It won't let me use this turn here next. God damn it. Well, shite. Okay. Carlac, you're up. Here, whatever. Go ahead and rage. Alright, attack. That's what I'm talking about. Now I get over here. Over there. Attack this one. Attack him again. All right, cool. Now attack this one. Perfection. And then you get ready to come up here and beat the shit out of fucking what's his name. So much for peace. You come up here and help. Okay. Here, use my... What is his weakest stat? Dex and in. So, Dex would be better. Dex on... There. Come over there, so I can get a clear shot of him. Alright. In turn. No. God damn. Good thing she's an Asimar. Focus your attack, soldiers. No. It was this shadow heart? Yeah, get up here. Come over here. Now we are going to. What should I do? Guardian of Fate? Stone Scan, Divine Strike, Shatter Smith, Spirit Guardians. I have to. I, like, I have to do it at. How many spell spells lot? Yeah, fourth level. It's fine. Now, just to be a meanie chef. Oh, I can't be moved by force. Oh, well. How much? You know what? Here. He didn't even get a chance to attack yet, but it's fine. I'm going to save it. Uh, nope. Do the spirit weapon first. Can I fly? No, I can't. I'm going to have to go right there. All right, intern. Then intern. Boy, boy, hold on. Oh god. Um, rage. Uh, is he still just a rat in a cage? <laughs> bars, straight bars. Oh god. Knees high. Wait, are you gonna come back and then flip around? No. Okay, good. Sheesh. Come over here. Right there. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't care. Attack. Um. Yes, we're God's blessing. Reckless. I don't care. Just attack. 
Okay, that's fine. What do I got? Uh, I still got bloodlust up, right? Yep, okay, cool. Potion of speed. And attack again. Come on, one more time. Attack. Ah! Harlack, you're killing me. This way. What, can I not get up there? Well, shit. Uh, should I dash or heal? Both. I could have clicked heels, but now get all the way. Can I not get all the way around him? That's fine. Get all the way over here. And turn. Breathing, despite everything. All right. Cool. Uh, psychic overload. Eldritch Blast. There's he at right there. Boom and boom. Okay, so one of them hit. That's fine. In turn. Uh, yes, shield. Oh God! Focus your attack, soldiers. Um, healing word at shall I do fifth level? Not nah, third level is fine. Mass healing word. Good. Now we are going to. I'm still concentrating on sacred flame, so do not do anything. That would hold on. Is he immune to necrotic? No, he's resistant to necrotic. Which is fine. It's just yeah. That's fine. Glyph. Um explosion. Or fire. That's fine. You go right there. Yeah, put it right there. All right, that's cool. In turn. Now, can you get up here? Can you? Can you, though? Can you even get up here? Fly. So, right there. Cool. Now, lacerate his big dummy ass. I can't reach him. This is bullshit. Here, go fight these guys in. you not go 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 that way no just out of reach just out of reach all right cool Carlac, you're up now have a 10 percent chance to hit there attack reckless again reckless again are you fucking kidding me? Again. Finally. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel. Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. Plot twist. Miracle be crazy. Am yours. <laughs> sure did.
Okay, cool. Who am I controlling right now? Carlac? Absolute Apostle of Merkel. So it's not Merkel Merkel, it's an avatar. Okay, cool. Cool. Attack. Wait. Why am I having to run all the way over here just to attack him? No, we're gonna swing again. There you go. If it has stats, it can die. Good. No shit. I'm out. Enter. Um, yeah, sneak attack. You miss? How dare you? Oh, this bastard. Uh, quicken spell. What should I quicken? What is he weak to? Hold on, examine? Cold, necrotic, he's immune to poison. And he's resistant to everything else but bludgeoning. Uh, plus two bonus to your next saving throw. Uses three times, so legendary resistance. Okay, cool. He's only a level 11, but still. Uh, good old. Mirror image on um, myself. Nah, you know what? Let's do this damage. Let's do this bitch. And then round two. Let's go. Wait, goddamn it! I forgot to put up hex. Oh well. Now you were a face to match your soul, Oathbreaker. Uh, shield. Shield blow. All right, my cleric is still up. Nice. She's in mobile, but she's still up. Wait, he's not resistant to fire, is he? No, he's not. Okay. That's fine. Uh, spiritual weapon. Another one up. Could you... Right there. Can it go? Does it get a turn? No. Of course not. I can't move forward. In turn. Can I? You fucking missed? God damn it. Of course.
course, of course. There, now attack this fucker. There you go, now attack him again. And attack him again. And one more time for good measure. Critical hit, that's what I like seeing. Alright, let's go again. Good, 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 go. God damn. Alright, cool, intern. Push my luck again. All right, Hex, he's resistant to Necrotic, so this is kind of pointless, but it will be a few extra points. What's his weakest stat? Examine. Oh, he has fucking high as shit, Con. Let's reduce his dex. Okay. Uh... Electric Blast? Yeah, that's gonna be my best deal. And I crit it. Nice. Alright, cool. I need to get a Sterion up and that Angel check. Oh, she's got herself up. Really? I'm still frightened here. Let me at least get Sterion up. I just helped him up. What the fuck? Uh, how's everybody looking at health? Everybody can use a little healing. Let's use a little healing. After I just wasted my action. Can he not be affected by this? He's he's clearly an effect of that. Okay, well, in turn. Wait, what's up with Carlac? Why can't I can't control her? Oh, she's stunned. I see. Okay. All right. Well, what do I got? Eh, Elder Blast. Bread and butter, tried and true. Uh, no. It misses, I want to use it though. No, good training. Wait, am I not concentrating any? Oh no, I'm still concentrating. Okay. No, I don't want to concentrate. Um, Force Tunnel, Stage Fright. Your targets have disadvantage on attack rolls. It's a 2d6 each time they miss. Oh. Oh, it affected him! <laughs> okay. Oh, God. You being a night song is killing me. still not up you know what fuck it whatever I'm just going to attack go all out what spell slots do I have left I've got that I'm concentrating that does not require concentration Saved. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, everybody, heal back up. Done. All right. I 
I need to... And then attack again. Reckless. Fucking crit. What is this? I need to take Potion of Speed. Awesome. Another hit. Another hit. Ah, god damn it. Oh well. In turn. Oh, I'm within that radius there. Hold on. What? No, don't go down there! You stupid! I wanted you to go right there. On the end of that thing there. Can you do that? Go there. There. Jesus Christ. No. Okay, enter. Yay! No free lunches. Oh, I got him before he consumed any of the necromites. Nice. I didn't realize that was a thing. Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. You have felled me yet again, Kethric Thor. I am forsaken. You. You have. No idea what you've done. I know exactly what I've done. Isabel. Damn, even Shadowheart's like, calm down. No. No. We pick our way toward our fates. Unleashed. You have my sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. Keep is dead. Permanently. Catherine Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. Can we get a stereo on up? Can can I not? Hold on. Need to find a way forward. What the hell? This game, I swear for God. There, help him up. Fuck. In death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable. Truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. 
to master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. Hmm. How is it you're able to leave the astral prison now? I came here looking for a cure and I still haven't found one. Do you know who our enemies are? Catherine transformed there into fire. What was that? Uh, he became an avatar of his uh, deity. Okay, now you're able to leave the astral prison. Reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Hmm. What are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netherrealm, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Hmm. Do you know who our One enemies are? I know, Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Oh, I've came across him once. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Yeah, they're basically all evil gods of death. Um, I played a death cleric in another campaign, not yours, Cappies, uh, who was a follower of Merkel. Uh, chosen of the dead three. What do we do now? What hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved? Gods have stats. They can die. Mm, I didn't come here to fight God. I just want my parasite removed. At this point, I kind of like this parasite. Now I want these stones. Um, uh, Chosen of the Dead Three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The tyrant, the assassin, and the necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an elder brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Hmm. What hope do we have if the gods themselves? No. What do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain. Brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Catherick's Warhammer? Okay. Give that to, uh, her. Reapers Embrace Heavy Armor. Magical plate. All incoming damage reduced by two. Reaper's rigidity. When activated, you can can't be moved against your will by any spell or action. But by but I have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. How is it a dead? Hold on, what does that do? Let out a bone chilling howl that numbs all nearby creatures. What the fuck does numb do? Movement speed is half. The spellcaster has advantage on attack rolls against the affected entity. Move with help or when hit by the spellcaster. 
Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no, no. I need that. Okay, cool. Comes at plus one to spell saves and attack rolls. Uh, when a foe is hit with a... No, that's bad. Okay, so you there, and then you there. This goes to camp. Send to camp and read this. Papa, I love you. From Iz. That's Isabel. Pick up. Alright, now time to loot everything before I go through that. Whatever that is. Wait, there. Loot. Um, here, yeah, there. Loot the necromite. Okay, loot that necromite. Okay, cool. Take off. Loot this necromite. No. Loot this one. Yes. All this free money. Okay, well, I gotta get over there anyway, so... Yeah, let me go over here, loot this one. I know, I'm taking a long way around. It's fine, it's fine. I got another level, though. Fuck oh, yeah. Level 10. Necromite, there. Necromite, wait, wait. That necromite. Yep. Okay, cool. Over here. Intellect devour. Yes, take the brain. Take the brain. Mind flare, what do you have on you? Nothing. You are useless. Necromite. Okay, done. Yeah, like it's so much work just to climb up this damn thing. Sheesh. Okay, what is this? Invasion plans at a sword coast. Okay. Got it. Pick up. Severed head of the absolute. Amulet of the absolute. Yeah, take it. I guess sell it. Silver glass there. What is this? The grand design. Pick up. There. The absolute end. Read. Eh. Oh, the resurrection of one-eyed Vecna, the lich, and a proliferation of necromantic excess, and even the withering of some imported fruits from Chalt. Uh, this person needs a glass of water and a lie down. Well. Wait, where is that at? I saw it. Where is it at? The invitation. Oh. Lord Gortash. Concerns, blah blah blah. Twelfth noon luncheon will be served. Lord here in committee chair. Okay. Alright, cool. Don't need any of that. And now we are done. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Alright, quick save. Just in case some BS happens, I don't have to do all that again. I've been thinking you saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I don't know how this plot fits together yet, but we will stop him. It seems he's a servant of Bane, as Kethrick served Merkel. Uh, who knows what powers he's gained since uh, you knew him? We'll find out when we get the Builder's Gate.
I'd never have protected a Bay Knight even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. We'll do it together, whatever it takes. Careful, Karlak, you're burning up. Not if I kill him first. I won't know peace till I dug my thumbs into his eyes, till I ripped his throat out with my teeth. Hear that, Gortash? I'm coming for you! And then Gortash sneezes. And there. Oh, I have the floor. Oh, we took the tower. Okay, cool. I have got to take a quick break. I got to run to the little girl's room. Alright, cool. Hold on. Pause. Pause. I can't find the pause button. Sheesh. Be right back, chat. Patience. Alright, chat, I am back from outer space. Okay. So she's alive, she's alive, she's alive. I don't know who to talk to now. Flaming Fist, Isabel. Quartermaster Tolly. Nichols, Nimbles. Okay. Our time is precious. Let us speak. Oh, withers. All right. Before that, I'm leveling up. Sorcerer level six. I picked up elemental affinity and elemental affinity resistance because I did dragon bloodline. Fuck! It's fire! I chose red. I'm a tiefling of Asmodeus, so I already get fire. I gotta switch my dragon type. Oh, at least I'm level 10. So I already get Misty Step, and I have Mirror Image. What do I need? I need a third level spell. Not a battering cloud of daggers there. Haste. For 10 turns, it's concentration. Nah. I just use potions of speed. Grant flight. I will be concentrating on hex. That's it. So I can't have any other spells that require concentration. Daylight. That would be great against a vampire. Counter spell? What? Go on. Lightning bolt. Protection from energy. Sleet storm. Slow. Sinking cloud. Enhance. Detect thoughts. Dark vision. Darkness. Crown of madness. Uh, enlarge. There. Old person, no. Counter spell. That is very tempting. Counter spell it is. Fireball and counter spell would be my only level three spells that I need. Alright. Except Carla, level 10 Barbarian. Mm -hmm. Animal Aspect Passive. I got another one? Hold on. 
Why did I choose Honey Badger last time? Chance to begin raging without expending a rage charge. Oh, okay. Bear. Capacity is doubled and you have advantage on strength checks. Chimpanzee. Crocodile. 10 feet while standing in water. Advantage on saving throws for me and not prone while in water. Or in general. So, Eagle. Advantage on perception checks and. Seeing the dark up to 40 feet. Elk. You gain aspect of the elk, giving yourself and nearby allies extra movement speed. Stallion, baby. Uh, dashing. Grants you temporary hit points equal to twice your barbarian level. Expected a tiger. Modifier attack rolls against bleeding or poison targets and gain proficiency in survival. You gain proficiency with stealth. And can use aspects of the wolf. What is aspect of the wolf? You and nearby allies add your dexterity modifiers to as a bonus to stealth checks. We, you technically already do that, but okay. Wolverine. Target, you also maim them for one turn. Uh, most of the time, the targets aren't going to be bleeding or poisoned. Even with Asterion poisoning, they usually have a high resistance to it, so. Doubled, and you have advantage on strength checks. Go with Aspect of the Bear. Yep, okay, continue. Level up. Level 3 fire. What? No, I should do... Rogue again. I get a new feed on that. With that said, though, new feed available. What feed should I get with him? Because I got dual wielder. Heavy armor master. Proficient with heavy armor. Oh, I'm only proficient with medium armor. Tough. Weapon Master? No. Tavern Brawler, Spell Sniper, Shield, Shield Master, Sharpshooter, Sentinel. No, because I'm a dual wielder, so hold on. Uh, use a reaction. No. Rossville Expert. When you make an attacks within melee range, attack rolls do not have disadvantage. Their piercing, your piercing shot, also inflicts gaping wounds for twice as long. Oh, I could do ability score improvement and bump his decks up. But why would I want to do that? Constitution increases by one. No. So without great weapon master, heavily armored, lightly armored, lightly armored. No, oh, I've already got that. Magic initiate, martial adept. No, medium armor master, mobile. Difficult terrain doesn't slow you down when you dash. If you if you move after making a melee attack, you don't m provoke opportunity attacks. Oh, okay. Performer, polar master. Glaive, halberd, quarterstaff, or spear. Bonus action to attack with the butt of your weapon. Hmm. Resilient. Ritual caster. Sentinel. Melee range attacks. An ally use a reaction to make a weapon attack against that enemy. Target ally must not have the sentinel feet. Manage opportunity attacks. Oh, okay. Shieldmaster, skilled, warcaster, weapon master, tough. 
I think I might choose tough because that'll give me it's two hit points for every level you have gained. This is a level 10, so he would give him 20 HP on top of what he already has. That'll make him a little more beefier. So he could take a hit. That's what I'm doing. Level up. Level 10 cleric. Okay. You get another cantrip. I don't even want these cantrips. That one turning? Yeah, sure. Prepared spells. What did you pick for my other spell? Cure wounds? No. Do not give me cure wounds. Ooh. Give me planar binding. If I'm going to be going up against more devils, maybe celestials, it'd be nice I could bind them to this plane. Mm, or banish them from it. Okay. Escape. I don't want to talk to him yet, so something's on my mind. Aelin. Isabel. My love. You were dead. I saw your body. I'm here. And... And so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? They brought her back for selfish moment, means. I want for nothing. Ooh. Ah, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... We know. But we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? Mmm, you'd be most welcome. Uh, it's a little crowded already. No, if you have something to say to me, say it now. Did I hear you correctly before? Are you Keltric Thorm's daughter? Will this prevent them from coming to my camp? You'd be most welcome. Yeah, okay, are you Keltric Thorm's daughter? And I'm glad he's dead. But this is precisely what I want to speak to you about later. It'll keep. I promise. Fine. I'll see you at camp. Very good. We look forward to it. Now, you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later.
Okay. Should I? Your hero? Quartermaster Talit. Can I talk to her? Why is it so laggy now? Eesh. It's a grim tusk. Picking provisions from the dead. Not the way I hear it. The fighting's not done yet. You need to resupply. Mm-hmm. I do need to resupply. Trade. Alright, what do you have now? Sheesh. Did I sell? I sold you my adamantine shield? When? I thought I sent that shit back to camp. Well, a lot of this shit I did sell to you, so hold on. Gloves of Missile Snaring, Heroism, Cinder Snap, Balanced Hands. No, I don't want it. Go. Amulet of Harpers, Wisdom Saving Throws, and it gives you death. Amulet of Lost Voices. Elixir of Necrotic Resistance, Chain and Lightning? What? I kind of wish I was doing a Tempest Cleric build. A scroll of Phantasmal Killer. I still have yet to use any of my scrolls. That requires concentration. Really? Supreme Elixir of Arcane Cultivation gives you a fourth level spell slot. Longsword, how much is it? 400? Just a 20 on the discount. What? 20%? That's it? Circle of Death. 8d6 Necrotic. Hmm, interesting. And a scroll of Hold Monster. And a scroll of Sunbeam. Six thousand? What? No, no, no. I say nay, nay. Incandescent staff. That'd be nice if I had to do a fire mage. Defender great axe. Defensive attack. When you make your first attack of the round, you can reduce the weapons enchantment to in by one to increase your armor class and saving throws by one. Eh. Come on, let's go. Ironbound shield. Plus three. What? That's actually really good. Hold on. Give that to Shadow Heart. A very heavy great axe. Scroll there. Other stuff I can throw. Scroll of Hopers and Firebolt. 3D10. Nice. Now we're starting to do the major damage. Keep your distance, darling. Wait. Hold on. Aberration slaying. Fiend slaying. Dragon slaying. Construct slaying. Monstrosity slaying. Is there one? Undead slaying? I could have used that the whole time against fucking dipshit. Okay. Some of this I just need to send to camp. Can't afford to stay idle. What do you have? Glow strand shield. It's useless. Sell it. Adamantine or magical way. All incoming damage reduced by two. Attack hits you. The attacker is sent reeling for three turns. Disadvantage on stealth checks. How of the dead. When activated, you can't be moved against your will. 
Wait, what does reeling do? I mean, I've had it this whole time. I could have been doing it. Oh. Negative one penalty to attack rolls for every turn remaining. Huh. Okay. Reaper's Embrace. That's actually a nice one. And it gives me a plus. Another D deal to my AC. Nice. Shield of Devotion. I gain another plus one and it gives me aid. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I would not trade that. Addition. You will their gains. Arcane Acuity. Saving throws plus one. Hold on. Nice. Okay. What does radiating orbs do? Or negative one to attack rolls. Huh. That's actually really good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to equip that. That's really good. Reaper's Embrace. Alright, cool. Apparently there's nothing I need from you. So go away. Hold on. What do you got? Ingredients wise? Nothing. Consumables. Radiant resistance? That's a thing. I see invisibility, vigilance, bane, combustion, remedial, supreme elixir of arcane cultivation. That's actually really good. I am going to actually buy that. That'll give me an extra uh, fourth level spell slot. Which I think would be best on... See, if I used it, it would get me up to there. Don't burn yourself. Hmm. Lady Light away. Reaper's Embrace. Oh, wait. I was supposed to throw these tanks out. I had four not only tanks on me. I was supposed to throw out in the middle of that fight. Oh, well. They're 50 pounds a piece, too. Jesus. Ah, all's well, it ends well. Alright, Marcus, what do you got? There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. Hmm. I was preoccupied. Holiday in the Mind Flayer colony downstairs. That sounds slimy. Never mind your distasteful predilections. We need to talk about Wolbrin. Mm hmm. He has nothing to do with you. He made that clear. One more time. Uh, he wants nothing to do with you. He made that clear. Oh, forget about that. Wolprin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something dreadful in the city. They have room powder. They have motive. We have to stop them. Doing what? Shit, if they're focused towards our enemies, let them. Seems we'll have our hands full in Baldur's Gate. Leave it to me, Barkas. You've proven you aren't able to for this kind of thing. Uh, is this just because Wilbur rejected you? How can he be so sure? The city has more important concerns than a bunch of gnomes with a grudge. How can he be so sure? Because they're a gaggle of vindictive crybabies with no sense of propriety. That is to say, they gabbed about their plans like a geese, and I overheard them. Like a very devious goose. <laughs> okay, you can hear from a distance. Eavesdropping. That's fine. Uh, what? What do you? What, what's the deal? 
Is this because Wilburn had rejected you? I'll not deny he wounded me. I cared for Wilburn. Care for him, really. But he's... Mm. Well, he's acting like a true idiot. It isn't the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last. But I won't let him hurt anyone. Or himself. Hmm. Ah. Uh, you know, what a grudge. Um, leave it to me, Barkus. You've proven you aren't able to for this kind of thing. Knowing when to ask for help is a sign of wisdom, not weakness. Oh. You helped me in this god's awful quagmire. When we're back in the city, I'll be fully in my element once more. <sighs> to saving the city. And my fool of a friend. That was it. Hmm. Thousand days darkness on the iron hands for dragging Nimble. him into this. Moonrise has been cleansed. Boulder's Gate is next. Feel that calm. The stone's free at last. Oh, okay. He's right here. Wilburn, he's like right here. Look, what are you planning? Vargas, you should apologize to. Your reunion last night was strained. I'm listening. I killed Catherick, and suddenly we're friends, are we? I'm listening. I saw you as a means to escape. Nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I really now? For not seeing your true worth. And for being... Quite frankly, rude in last light. You were being an arsehole. I could be rude myself sometimes. No, you were being an arsehole. <laughs> Tough, but fair. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. Oh, like I needed your permission. Details and now detect thoughts. Uh, persuasion. If you want my help, I'm going to need more to go on. Detect thoughts. Guidance. Okay. It's only 11. Mm, yes! Okay. You see a column of fire that dominates the sky in a blazing inferno. Nothing more. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. It's, it's just Iron Hand gnomes being Iron Hand gnomes. What did I expect? Did I expect anything intricate? No, but I love it. Okay. All right. Details now. Boom. Two. Fuck. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Even with a two, I still pass. The plan Jeez. is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in the city. And once you see what it's become, You'll know that I, and I alone, can stop it. <sighs> you need to eat before we head off, alright? Is there people over here? Another step forward. Harper S. Come here. Dear Lord, can you slow down here? With Jahira to lead us. And you bringing light to the shadows, we might just have a chance. Look, the only reason why I saved you people is because when I enslave you all, it's better if you fight back. It makes it interesting.
Harper. Nasa. Nasa. Ketherick's done. But that army's already on the move. This isn't done yet. Okay. Um, is there... Ooh, can I... Hands on everything. Can I touch the mucus? Touch the mucus. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Oh, I've already done that. Okay, never mind. The kitchen. New perils await beyond the horizon. Yeah, no shit. Okay, that's those two. I've talked to them. Who? Come, come, come here. It's like like your mind wants you dead. How'd you survive it? Wait, then I see Hal Center earlier. Oh, there he is. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he saw out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. I don't want to be recruited. Thank you. But I honor the serve under Duke Elton. No, it wouldn't have. <laughs> Let me fist are nothing but mercenaries now. Immoral ones at that. How do you make it here? Um, what about the flaming fists you've met here? What do you think of them? Uh, hearing stories of I'm curious what he was like. Uh, what do you think of the they ones are here? Different to what Duke Elton envisioned. And I can't comment on Duke Ravengard himself, but I've seen the respect he inspires in the Flaming Fist. And that tells me all I need about him as a leader. I hope you can save Duke Ravengard for the good of Baldur's Gate. Come with me. I could use a Flaming Fist by my side. What about you? When this land fell to the curse, I should have gone with it. Thaniel is the only reason I survived. It's only fair I stay here and wait for him to awaken. Thank you for your help. Uh, once we leave this place... Once we leave, this place will be pretty empty. Will you be alright? And after Thaniel awakens? Let's go with that one. I think there will be an after. The truth is... The shadow fell broke something inside me. Something no healer can fix. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Thaniel is safe. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So, thank you, my friend. And know that I have no regrets. That's a flaming fist. That's the other cat. Alfira. Hmm, let's go talk to the kids. Specifically, Mattis. Maybe you should ask the grown up. Why, yes. Once Alfira is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. I found Mole's eye patch. So? It, it's just Mole's eye patch. She's lost loads of them. That doesn't mean anything. Did you want something, or are you just here to stir? Damn, kid. I know you're on edge. Fucking shit. Mm, I just thought Mole would be here with the rest of you. It's alright. I'm sure Mole will be waiting in Baldur's Gate. I just thought Mole would be here with the rest of you. No. But she'll turn up at some point. That's just how Mole is. Umi. Miss Alfira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Mole. Aw, oh, she's trying to cheer y'all up. Mole's eye badge. Where is she? 
Oh, I thought she would have came in. I don't know. I found this in Catherick's lair. Dead. I could be insidious. I can't do that to kids. Uh, calm down. I'm sure she dropped it and Mole's fine, I promise. I don't know. I found this in Catherick's lair. Does that mean Catherick's got her? Oh no! No, Mole! No, no, no. Jesus. Okay. Oh, well, let's go talk to, uh, was it Idy? I'd. Sarah's writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Mole back. Tell her, won't you? I found Mole's eye patch. This is Mole's. Where did you find it? In Catherine's rare. Death, Mole's gone, I'm sorry. Well, okay, no. What does it matter? Your friends are dead anyways. Somewhere unpleasant, but I didn't see Mole. She's probably safe somewhere. Of course she is. You hang on to that. I bet Mole will be angry at you for touching her stuff. Actually, no, I'll be giving it back to her. Just focus on packing. You're here. Good. That's good. Are you alright? Expecting a little more enthusiasm. Um, I just killed an immortal, and that's all you have to say? Are you alright? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and... They haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. Mm, I'm sure they have No, they don't. Writing a song is hardly a going to distract them. Like I'm humoring you by having this conversation. Oh, God, it's evil. It's hardly going to distract them. True. You know what would be amazing? A concert. Just for the kids. Problem is, it's boring if it's just me playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. All is fine. The oh, I hope I find a bard in the city. Okay, what's upstairs? Is anybody upstairs? God, I hate how the camera zooms in and does its thing. Wait, what was in here? Because I never went in here. But I did go up here. What is that over there? <gasps> I never looted this chest. Or read the scroll. God damn it, Shadow Heart. Scrolls of her glory. Blah 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 blah. Her is folly. Blah blah blah. Her being. Blah blah blah. We are true souls after all. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Whatever. Take it with me. Heavy chest. Sterion, you're up. Lockpick. Crack is open. Hmm. And add bonus guidance. Boom. Go. 28. Nice. I'm well in my mind. I'm well in it. What was in here? Ring of Exalted Marrow. The hell? Exhort Risen. Subjugate the undead with your commands. 
necromancy spell. Likely claws and possibly paralyze the target. Two turns. Elves and undead cannot be paralyzed by this attack. It's attack roll, long rest. Okay. That was the ring? Okay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, I never looted this one. Hold on. Or all of these. No traps, please. No, oh, yeah, take all. Books, 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 books. Oh, what books we got? Ray of Sickness. Necromantic Codexes? They're enigmas? Read? Uh, okay. Take off. <sighs> Alright, cool. And earn. Okay. Uh, note from Gortash. Read. Hmm. Just a note to say that I was alarmed to learn that your strike teams have not yet recovered the artifact. The Gith Yankee appear to be after it as well. I'll have more to say about this when time allows. But it's essential that your troops do not allow the object to slip between their fingers. Gee, and Gortash. Okay. Yeah, pick it up. Pick up. Alright, Necromite. Loot. Yes, take all. There. Take all. What do we got? Come on. Take all. And you. Oh, just four go. Alright, there ain't shit else around here. Back down I go. Better not be cursed. All right, go on down. All right, speak to, to um, Flaming Fist, Daniel, Halson. I want to have a word. I swear. I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. What now? Have you got what you wanted after all? Hmm. Actually be lifted. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. Okay. What now? You got what you wanted after all? I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. I'm glad to have you. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, you can imagine. Try me. Talk to Nathaniel. 
Why is this flaming fist there? You did it. Catherick Thorm is no more. The shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. Our work here is done, I think. Seems like the sort of feat that might deserve your reward. I would agree. But patience is needed. Nature moves at its own pace. And bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you. When you need it most. What? That's the most stupid asinine shit I've ever heard. You make a fine fist. What? That's all you stood there to say to me? And you just climb over rubble to walk away as fast as possible? I I should Eldrick blast you in the face. Here, alright, so I don't have to talk to all these people again. Quick save. Alright, talk to Jahira. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch? And two more bloom in its place. An elder brain bound by lost Netherese magic with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Hmm, you almost seem like you're enjoying yourself. You've tangled with the dead three before. Spend a lot of time mind flayers, colonies, have you? Hmm. Spend a lot of time with the Mind Flayer qualities, have you? More than anyone should. But I never dreamed I'd see the dead three working in consort with the Lithids. It is I think most the disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone. And you're on the scent of two more. These Chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Mm. You want to join me? Of course. Falling foul of Catherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. Hmm. Best we part ways. No, I'll see you at camp. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders, as well as give them. Okay. The High Harper. Withers. A curse lifted. The dead three allied once more. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Um, maybe? Forget that. What are you doing here, Withers? These abominations are soulless, surely. I'm not sure. Do all living things? No, nor canst thou count mind flares among them. 
yet. The three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Well, a soulless army cannot be turned against them. A soulless army can also not benefit their enemies. Which, same thing I know. Um, additionally, uh, a soulless army would be better at not being conflicted with emotion and to gather more souls. And I'm surprised to see you while you're here. Speak plainly. Is there more to y you can tell me? I see to know... You seem to know a lot about the Dead Three. Yes. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder. Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake. And the gods shudder. That's right. They were once three gods in one. That they were split, I believe. I have to double check the lore, but I believe that was one of the things. Let's see you. Why are you here? I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Big Pangley, is there more you can tell me? No. Fair enough. Now what? Am I to just leave? A long rest? Is that what I need to do? No, open the door. What the fuck, Shadow Heart? It's almost comical. She just flips. <laughs> Boop. Come on. Come on. Can, can you do it? Can you do it without falling? No. Okay. Well, I am going to go to camp. Take a long rest. Yes, long rest. I need to talk to a lot of companions. The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. When the fuck did you give a damn about these lands? <gasps> the Albear! Pet, pet, pet. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. I like how he cocks his head up. Matter of factually, indeed, I will not. Mm hmm. Done. Um. <sighs> Shadow Heart. The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shark can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. You wanted something? There's some matters I wanted to discuss. I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Okay. Leave. Uh, stay around. I never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker in, historically. Uh, what do you intend to do about Cazador's ritual? 
I never asked, are you Gazador's only spawn, or are there others like you? <laughs> Gazador, sired several spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. Ain't gonna do about Casador's ritual. Anything else? I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Casador is an ordinary noble, a little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. It risk exposure. This giant gothic monastery has been inhabited by vampires this whole time. Mm. Should ask around the city. Uh, once in the city, maybe someone's heard anything. Hmm. I know. Subtle, isn't it? Ask around once in a city. Maybe someone's heard something. I hope so. Because I'm not striking another deal with Raphael. Knows what he demand this time. But if the citizens of Baldur's Gate don't know anything, my brothers and sisters might. Casador is a master of secrets. But the other spawn must have seen something. Hmm. Daniel, Arabella hasn't left yet? If Bowman says I'll be alright, I'll be alright. I just wish... I wish it was different. I wish Mom and Pops was here. It hurts, I know it does. But you'll feel better in time. You've been strong. They'd be so proud of you. No, they're not. So you can quit your sniveling. Uh, you've been so strong. They'd be so proud of you. I don't feel so strong, or anything really. Just tired. Yeah, I get that. It's fine. I think we've done rather a good thing here. A welcome change to give this land a sliver of hope amongst so much despair. Okay, I gotta go talk to Will. Uh, wait, nope. Talk to Jihira first, then Carlac. I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. Mm, leave. I wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. I bet it's beautiful. No rest for the wicked, huh? Nope. Tell me more about your relationship with Gortash. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies seemed like easy money so i went in for it he took one look at me and said i was perfect i like that not like that you know just it felt like a good fit i kept him safe and he paid me well well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future my future i respected him 
trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil evil bastard. Hmm. Okay. We all... Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. The absolute cult has Raven Guard. Where would they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Hmm. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Hmm, Mazura said you can say what led to your pact in exile. Time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? I'd give my life if it meant keeping the residents safe. I wouldn't give up my soul if that's what you're getting at. The place could burn to cinder for all I care. Hmm, I would give up my soul if that's what you were getting at. It is. And I did. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. Hmm, I know what the Cult of the Dragon is. Um, they are worshippers of Tiamat, and they're all about bringing back the dragons and Tiamat to bring forth the destruction of the world in her domain. Uncle the Dragon, I've never heard of them. The Grand Duke left the mere boy in charge. That can't, that can't have gone well. Not just a boy, a raven guard, schooled in the four pillars. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm, the first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. 
Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. It was an illusion. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. It, he was being played like a fiddle because that was all an illusion. I can guarantee you that didn't actually happen. Surely Mazur doesn't care about Boulder's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zaria. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Menagerie? I think she was f pulling your strings, my guy. Mm, you took on 25 closes on your own? I find that hard to believe. I had Mazora at my side, and the Archdevil Zariel guided our hands that day. I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. Mm. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Wait, your lips were sealed for what now? Hold on. That's brave what you did for the city. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle of the cult dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. You were right, of course. The new eye is a sending stone courtesy of Mazura. She uses it to track my location and call from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her mm, now what about your father the Grand Duke he returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side I tried to tell him the truth but my mouth couldn't form the words I'd led him to the battlefield but Mazora had swept it clean because there never was a battlefield I showed him my stone eye but he only turned away after, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Uh, oh, you were a naive kid. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. He returns to the subject later. I understand. Later. Curious about your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. And Bull. Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Hmm. I suppose I can't blame him. For all he knew, do you sprout horns any second? If I were your father, I've killed you on the spot. How do you favor by exile? How did you favor by exile exiling you? Do you miss your father? Blame him for all he knew. He he'd sprout horns any second. <laughs> and I went and proved him right. A grand duke's duty is to his city, first and foremost. There would only ever be one outcome. Hmm. Okay. Is that everybody? Time to... End the day. Now there's more people to talk to? Shit. Oh yeah, I was supposed to talk to these folks. I never talked to them. 
What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Hmm. Open your mind. Your joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. It is a common right among Saluna's followers to send their children off into the woods to find their way home. Perhaps this time it had gone awry. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? <clears throat> your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My... Parents, I need to save them. Ah, uh, does this mean you're a Saloon Knight? I don't know. Your parents both followed the Moon Maiden. I could sense their faith even in a brief glimpse of the past. Um. What? Hey, Isabel is like right there. How come she didn't talk? It is a tragedy that the Moon Maiden's right was perverted by Shar. Your future was stolen from you. I'm here to help if your parents, but we have other. I'm sorry for your parents, but we have other concerns. Um, this back sounds dangerous. I'll help. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. I thought it was cast into the Shadowfell. Careful. Isn't that thing supposed to be able to kill you? Observe silently. I will keep my mouth shut. How do you have it? I threw it into the Shadowfell. Shar is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. 
Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. The Loon Spear of Night. Oh. Um, is it... Who's it on? There. Oh god. With some saving throws, dark vision. 40 feet. Moonbeam. God damn it. T. Moonbeam. Call down a beam of light that damages any creature that uh, enters the beam and starts his turn in the light. Action to move the beam 60 feet. Concentration. Eh, Spirit Guardians is better. Moon Moat. Illuminate the area around you with a wisp of moonish light. It makes movement difficult for enemies and bolts your allies' damage. Oh, that requires concentration as well. What the hell? Hmm. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. All one of these work. Now you and Aelin seem to have a lot of history. What happened? A great deal. But still. Some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorm is... was... my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself, tell me. Do you believe in love at first sight? Uh, nope. It sounds like you do. <laughs> I certainly believe you were starstruck, at least. You sound like my father. But it was more than that. This was no mere attraction. It was love. Lucky for Maybe me, you say so. the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why. But all was black. 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 Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. Hmm. Come a chosen of Merkel. Monster would rip his own daughter from the grave. Did he shout boo? You jest. Yet... He did seem a ghost to me. A, a shadow of the father I loved. He resurrected me with magic so foul I nearly wretched just thinking of it. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was 
dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, <sighs> made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. But she already knew. So you lied about who you were. I did. Who would trust the next of kin of Catherick's form? But I have no more secrets. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. Okay. Cool. Can we actually sleep now? I am tired of talking to everybody. Go to bed. Uh, auto select. Hold on. Yes, make sure I did not grab the Albear egg. I think I might sell that at some point. We'll rest. Wait, Once she's already encumbered. Like what the fuck? Oh, I need to talk to her. What? She's already encumbered? God damn it. Um. Here, give it all to Carlac. Perfect. Okay. Is that blood? All right. No, I'm gonna never mind. save it manually. New save campsite. Cool. Anyway, with that chat, I'm going to be ending in here. Thank you for joining me today for the YouTube channel. Of course, follow, follow. I'm trying to get my goal up there so I can make it to 50 followers. And then I'll become <gasps> affiliate. 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 Uh, that said, though, I'm gonna see if there's somebody I can read. See if anybody that's on would appreciate being rated. Uh, yeah, there's nobody on that would appreciate being rated. That said, y'all be nice, be kind to each other out there, be safe, and make sure you make it home. Get plenty of sleep, rest, and, and liquids, waters, you know, all that jazz. And that said, good night and goodbye. Farewell. I'll be back.